Okay, I'm liking it so far. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you are feeling well and amazing and all of that great stuff. Today is October 10th, 1010, which is an amazing angel number. And I have somewhere to be in about 45 minutes, so I decided to film a get ready with me. I already did my skincare and I'm kind of dressed a little bit, so I'm gonna be doing my makeup and then I'll show you guys my full outfit after. Not gonna do a super long intro because I am running a little bit late so let's just get right into it so to start i'm going to prime my face and i am using can you focus i am going to be using this for my primer i really want to try a new primer so i think i mentioned this in my last makeup video if you guys know a really great primers for um like blemishes and oily skin please comment them below help me out for foundation today i'm going to be using fenty beauty like always this is the um soft matte longwear foundation and this is the color 380 which is like my tan color i like to mix this with this little bronzer which looks gross because i've had it for a long time so the words are coming off but it's by Soul. Mm, can you guys see it? I'll link it below, whatever. But one, this smells really, really good. And two, it just gives me a nice, cute little bronzy glow. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. Eek. Okay. Well, that's about the amount that I usually take. And I'm just gonna mix it with my fingers. I'm gonna go with my damp beauty blender. I'm just getting the rest of what was on the back of my hand. And let's go ahead and blend that in, baby. Next, I'm going in with concealer. I'm using the Fenty Beauty um, Instant Retouch Concealer. This is in the color 370. And we're just gonna go ahead and conceal some of my pimples and under my eyes. Next, I'm gonna contour with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. This is in the color Truffle. Same Beauty Blender to blend that out. I used to bring my contour all the way down and just tap it into place, but more recently I've been tapping it up toward my ear and that gives me a sort of chiseled look because I have a, I think this is called like an oblong shape um, face. So I watched videos on how to do your makeup if you have an oblong. <laughs> shape and that is what they suggested and I really like how my makeup has been looking for my nose contour I prefer to use my fingers to blend it out I just find that it makes it a bit more precise Okay, now that we're all blended, I'm gonna go in with the setting powder. 
This is, again, by Fenty. Um, that's the only makeup that I like. So, yeah. That's probably all you will be seeing on my channel whenever I do makeup tutorials. This is in the color Honey. This is one of the It brushes from Ulta. This is their powder brush. I'm just going to take my setting powder. Next, I'm going to bronze. This is Sunstalker Instant Warmth Bronzer in Coconati by Fenty Beauty. And I'm just going to take, this is a Morphe brush. I don't know what Morphe brush, but it looks like this. Okay. Let me make sure I'm not OD on this. <laughs> I'm also going to set that bronzer that I put on my nose. I'm just going to use a smaller tapered brush. This is also by Morphe. It's probably like an eyeshadow brush or something. I'm just going to go ahead and blend that baby out. And then I'm going to take that and put it in my crease just to add a little bit of color there, a little depth, depth. <laughs> the one thing I really want to work on is my eyeshadow because I don't be knowing what I'm doing with my eyeshadow for real, which is why I really only use bronzer just to add a little bit of color there. But I really want to do cute eyeshadow looks I looks and I don't you know what I'm doing so be great to learn I guess I need to hit up YouTube University and find some videos and practice okay I'm like it is so far okay now that that's done I'm going to highlight I'm using this elf blush in color gems the highlight I love this highlight it's just so pretty and I just really like to take my finger makes it easier and just tap it in Before moving on to my brows, I'm actually going to set my face right now to make sure everything stays in place since I just did that last layer of setting powder. And I'm just using this by Urban Decay. It is their travel size because your girl is on budget. Okay. Alright, so now I'm going to do these brows, hunty. So I like my brows to be very, very natural, so I'm not even going to fill them in that much, to be honest. Just a little tiny bit, just to fill out any of the sparse areas, like, over there. Oh, and I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in Dark Brown, and do not judge me because I broke this. To set my brows, I'm using this got to be ultra glued gel. I have been using this styling gel on my eyebrows for a few months now. It actually might be a year now, truthfully. And game changer. Game changer on the brows. Okay. 
Okay, do we like those brows? Do we like them? Do we like them? Okay. It looks good. So I'm gonna take that highlighter that I use on my face and add a little bit of that to the corners of my little eyes. Just add a little song song. Okay, so I went ahead and put on the earrings that I'm wearing. These are from I think it's called Leaves of Tree, Black Woman Owned Business. Check it out. And I'm going to add my lip gloss, which is the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. This is my favorite. I like this one and Fussy. Alright, so that is the face. It's very natural glow. That is usually what I go for. I like it. It's cute. You can still see my blemishes. You know, it's nothing too um, cakey. It's very natural, like I said. Perfume, I'm going to go in with this. It's Secret Genius. There we go. I love this. It smells so good. Just put it everywhere. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all my outfit and then I gotta run because it's 12.59 and I can't be late. 